Hello and welcome back. Today we've got a very exciting service, AWS Outposts. So let's look at a scenario, a hybrid environment setup. So here we've got our AWS account and here we've got our corporate data center and they're connected with side-to-side -side VPN or Direct Connects, which Direct Connect or DX for short, which we've both discussed previously. So now uh, this is a advantageous setup, especially for companies w which are not ready to fully jump into the cloud and want to uh, have a hybrid environment to uh, keep some of the data, uh, maybe sensitive data on premises or some of their um, setup on premises and at the same time leverage the advantages and benefits of the cloud. However, it does come with a price or an inconvenience that developers now have to know two sets of tools and APIs uh, and services uh, for development in the cloud and then separate and for development on premises. So one set of tools, APIs and services for the cloud and one set of the same for development on premises. And same thing for the IT team. They need to know how to manage the infrastructure on uh, in the cloud, which is different, which is a different set of tools to managing the infrastructure on premises. So AWS recognizes this issue and understands that companies want, many companies want a hybrid environment and at the same time would prefer in many cases to manage uh, the same set of tools to manage their cloud environments and their on-premises environments. Did you know that you could be AWS certified in as little as a few weeks from now? Want to know how? Join our CloudWolf community and we'll help you pass that exam. And their solution is uh, Outposts, AWS Outposts. So uh, Outposts come in two sizes. There are Outpost racks, which you can see here in front of you, and there are there are Outpost servers, which are smaller. So in either case, well, let's talk about an Outpost rack. So an Outpost rack is a physical device, They're both physical devices, just one is smaller than the other. So it's a physical device that is delivered to your corporate data center by certified uh, or AWS certified personnel. And you, uh, but before, of course, it's delivered, you need to select which one you want. There are pre-configured options and you can select what kind of EC2 instances you want, what kind of EBS storage, what kind of S3 storage capacity and so on. And all of that will be configured into your AWS Outpost track. So when it's delivered, you will actually have EC2 instances on site. You have EBS storage on site. You'll have S3 storage capacity on site and uh, some other services, which we'll uh, mention just now. So effectively you're expanding, and this is the key word or a key kind of concept to look out for on the exam. You're expanding your AWS infrastructure and services to on premises. Um, it allows you to, it allows your developers and your IT team to use the same set of tools, uh, services and APIs when they're managing or developing both on the cloud or, or in the cloud and in your corporate data center. So it creates a seamless experience for your development team and for your IT team. Um, and the services that are currently supported by Outpost Racks are EC2, ECS, EKS, EBS, S3, RDS, Elastic Cache, EMR, um, ALB, and a few others. Uh, with AWS Outpost uh, servers, you will get fewer services. They support fewer services. So there we go. That's what Outpost Racks are all about. Uh, again, this is a physical device that is delivered to you. Um, with that, keep in mind that you are responsible for physical security. That's another thing that to keep in mind for the exam, which may come up, that you are responsible for the physical security of your outpost rack because it's in your on on in your uh, corporate data center. Um, and yes, it effectively allows you to extend your um, AWS services and infrastructure into your corporate data center, into your on premises. So there we go. Here's a quick summary of what we discussed. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.